Hey y'all, it's Mary, and this is Mary Catherine Loves Cats, and this is a very special Mask Monday. I have been asked, and honored to be asked, to join Katie's Corner of the World for Mask Monday today, because Emily, her daughter, invited me, and they sent me this mask to do with them, and today is Emily's 10th birthday, so we're celebrating, and we're going to do these masks together, and then we're also gonna do some would you rather questions. So I'm just super excited about it. And y'all go over to Katie's channel and I'll link um, her channel below or in her video and go say happy birthday to Emily, okay? And tell them I sent you. So anyway, um, this is the mask that they sent me. It's the Cream Shop Be Hydrated Skin. It's an animated bunny face mask. And my understanding is that Emily actually picked this mask out for us. So, all right, here we go. I'm gonna open it up and put it on, and then I will do the would you rather questions that Katie sent me so that we would, all three of us will do that. Okay, it is a very nice and moisturized mask. The Cream Shop, Cream Shop, I think is the best way to say it. Always has lovely masks. Ooh, it smells good. It says infused with moisturizing hyaluronic acid. It just smells fresh and clean, fresh and clean. So, all right, let me see, we'll open it up. And we're gonna look like bunnies, I'm so excited. And Emily likes to do Mask Mondays with her mom once in a while. She doesn't do it every week, but she does it once in a while. And then Katie has um, a son named Andrew, but he's he does he has been on camera, but it's not his favorite thing to do. He's a little more shy, Emily is a little more outgoing. All right, let me see if I got this right. I think this is the way it goes. There's those cute ears. Look at how cute this is. going to be cute, y'all. <laughs> oh, it feels wonderful. Of course, the Creme Shop's um, essence is just always lovely. No matter which mask I've ever used from them, it always um, feels really good. Okay, look at there's a, nice, a bunny there. And there's a carrot over on that side. Isn't that cute? All right, try to put it on my... I'm always eating the mask, you know. Oof, it doesn't taste as good as it smells. <laughs> okay, let me, um, just so I can do the questions and all, I'm gonna cut this part, if I can do it properly. It feels so refreshing, y'all. It feels really good. You should always put a mask on a clean face, which I did, I had cleaned my face before. Okay, and then there's a cute little ears up there in that sweet. And the nose has a heart on it. So it's got quite a long nose there. <laughs> okay. Um, it's not gonna stay on my chin very well, but that's okay. I'll get my roller here in a second. You know, I have this, um, this Gua Sha, is that how you say it? G-U-A-S-H. I think the only thing is when you use that that you have a lot of essence that comes off of you um, I'm trying to get that flattened out might not be yeah all this essence is coming off so I think I will let me use the roller okay I'm gonna do the um, would you rather questions so Katie found these questions and sent them to me <coughs> excuse me and we're gonna all do them, so. All right, let's see. Okay, would you rather live somewhere that was always very cold or always very hot? And um, my answer to that, I live in a place that is often very hot and I would much rather live in a place that's often very cold. It's always cold, that's fine with me. Um, I like the cold. Um, before I moved here up north in Chicago, it, when it would get cold, the cold, I love the cold weather. Of course, not when it's like 40 below zero, but normal cold, below freezing is fine with me. Got on a nice coat, got the heat in the car, no problem. And um, I often would wear very light coats because I was always very hot natured. But I don't know if it's because of age or just living here for a while in this humidity. I do not love the humidity, which is when it's hot. Um, and I actually don't love the cold here either. It feels different, um, but uh, yeah. 
Let me get on to the next one. I'll, I'll stay all day on that one. Would you rather live in a busy city or on a quiet countryside? And I have done both. And I like both. Um, right now, I live in a small town. So it's not quite the quiet countryside. But I do really like it. Um, it's quiet. It's happy. Um, people are not aggressive. Well, not, you know, I mean, of course, there are some somewhere. But people are... You drive by and they wave at you from their porch and stuff. I like that. So I would probably pick the quiet countryside. Would you rather live without music or live without books? And that is so difficult. Oh, some of these are really, some of these would you rather sometimes you're just like, can I just not answer that? But no, I will answer. Um, oh, I love music. I love books. But if I have to, if you're going to make me pick, I'm going to say music. Now, I don't know, you know, if you really have to think about that, that might be too difficult, but that's what I'll say. Would you rather live without Netflix or YouTube? I don't watch Netflix, so, and I, all my whole life is YouTube now. Besides work and YouTube, I got cats, so I will stick with YouTube. <laughs> Would you rather have teeth of a shark or the neck of a giraffe? And I'd probably say teeth of a shark. Um, the neck of a giraffe... Um, just, I don't know, that doesn't seem to fit with a human body. Not that shark teeth would either, but you know, you can close your mouth if you don't want people to see them. <laughs> would you rather constantly itch or always have to sneeze? And now these are two things that I do quite frequently. So um, I could answer um, either one because um, I do, I'm always itchy and <laughs> I'm always sneezing or coughing or something. So. Um, but yeah, if I have to, well, if you're going to do it constantly, I suppose itch would be better because you want to be able to communicate. And if you're constantly sneezing, then you won't even be able to talk. So would you rather be super short or super tall? Who knows? Um, probably super tall. We'll, we'll do that. Would you rather be able to smell things better than everyone else or hear things mile miles away now i do i can smell a lot of things that other people can't smell so i know what that heightened sense of smell is like um and hearing things miles away i do have a hearing loss so that i probably would go for that would you rather be a teacher or a principal hmm i am not either so i don't know what it involves I mean, I know what a teacher does, I know what a principal does, basically, but I know that being a principal would have a lot of uh, responsibility. And I'm good with responsibility, and I'm good at management, so I'll take principal. Um, would you rather learn a new language or play a new instrument? Oh, that's a good one. Um, at my age, probably I would rather learn a new language. Would you rather wear school uniforms or get to wear anything you want? There is no question, get to wear anything you want. Most of my schooling, I had to wear uniforms. So um, I would wanna wear anything I want. Would you rather have re recess with one kid you dislike or 10 kids you don't know? All right, so since this is really meant for Emily and I don't take recess, I guess we'll say, let's say if I have to spend an hour with one kid that I dis with one person that I dislike or 10 kids that I don't know. And um, I could do either because I'm very social. Um, I can talk to anybody. And even if um, there's a problem between us, I would try to work it out. So the one uh, person that maybe I disliked um, and then 10 kids I don't know, I would know them by the end of the hour. So either one's okay with me. Um, but I, if I have to pick, I'll pick the 10, the 10 people that I don't know. And would you rather visit Australia or Africa? I would like to visit both. It's always, you know, it's always been a dream to travel, but, um, you know, I really haven't been able to. Um, but I have um, a friend in Australia, and I know people in New, New Zealand that, I, um, that we do business with. Um, so I probably would say Australia um, for right now. I would love to go to Africa and see the elephants and see, you know, go, go on one of the safaris or something like that. That would be really neat. Um, so, but I, um, since I have to pick, I'll pick Australia. Would you rather go on a vacation to a mystery place or have an exact schedule of your vacation? Hmm. I don't, uh, well, yeah, I usually when I, I don't really get to go on vacation. I do go out of town to my parents' house. So when, you know, that's my vacation when I do, when I go away. 
Um, and I do have things pretty scheduled um, because I have to, otherwise I wouldn't be able to see everybody. Um, so, and a mystery place would be really neat. If somebody, if somebody I loved was gonna say, come on, let's just go, and they're gonna take me somewhere, I would do that. So, let's say that one, let's say the mystery. And would you rather an ice cream cake or a regular cake? Um, I like a regular cake. I do like an ice cream cake. We have um, Dairy Queen here and they have really good ice cream cakes. Um, and sometimes we have had them before, like at work for someone's birthday and they're great in the summer, nice and refreshing. Um, but I just, you know, cake, I like, I'm a, I'm a sweet person, a sweets person, so I like cake, I would take regular cake. And would you rather vanilla or chocolate cake? And now my favorite cake is really hard to come by. Like if you're gonna go buy a cake, you have to make it. But a lot of, you know, yellow cakes have the white frosting. Chocolate cakes have the chocolate frosting. I like the yellow cake with chocolate frosting. Um, so would you rather a vanilla or a chocolate cake? Um, I'll say vanilla if I will say, I'll say chocolate cake because I'd rather the chocolate. And would you rather fondant or buttercream? And yummy, I like both. I like any kind of sweets. So um, that's a hard one as well. I do love buttercream. Buttercream is one of my favorite frostings when it's real butter, made with real butter. Um, but of course fondant is delicious as well. But I'll pick buttercream. And then would you rather a unicorn cake or a simple one? Okay, so for me again, we're talking about I'm a senior and um, Emily, um, this is really for her. So I hope she picks the unicorn cake. But you never, I don't know, she may not like unicorns. I don't know, maybe she'd rather a bunny cake. Um, but um, for me, I don't need anything fancy. But you know, I do like cakes that have the roses on them, you know. So if they made the unicorn with some um, puffy frosting, then I'll go for it. And that would be really cute. And uh, maybe I'll have one for my next birthday, <laughs> a unicorn cake. All right, y'all, that was my would you rathers. And uh, like I said, uh, this was a lot of fun and it feels really good. And um, I'm gonna turn off the camera for a moment and I'll come back and take it off and show you how radiant I look and how much like a bunny I look, okay? <laughs> okay, y'all, it's time to take it off. I, I was trying to mess with it a little bit to get the chin to stay down, but, but it, I can't get it to, but that's okay. So let's take it off and see. There's a lot and a lot and a lot of essence. So it's very, very hydrating, which is what it said it would do. And then see how much essence I have but they say to go ahead and rub that in and keep rubbing it in. I mean, there's like excess, like I, you know, I don't know that I can get that all rubbed in, but this was a really lovely mask. It's very, very hydrating and I am gonna try to work that in. So y'all go wish Emily a happy 10th birthday and thanks for stopping by and count your blessings. Take care y'all, bye-bye.